name is Borden Lacey, and I am the director of the Vanderbilt Center for Structural Biology, which was founded over 20 years ago with the idea of bringing state-of-the-art technology for structural biology to the Vanderbilt community. I think to understand how something works, you have to know what it looks like. And structural biology is really the only technique that will give you the power to know where the atoms in your molecule are, whether it's DNA, RNA, or protein. It also gives you the technologies to look at the movements within these atoms and how the molecules interact with each other. As a center, we try to provide education and training of modern structural biology research and maintain the infrastructure to support research in the areas of X-ray crystallography, cryo-EM, NMR spectroscopy, as well as computational structural biology. So the Biophysical Instrumentation Corps is a foundation support for our other structural biology cores. We have very classic approaches like circular dichroism and spectrophilometry, but we also have some newer instrumentation that's kind of on the cutting edge. <laughs> um, and this really gives researchers an option for how they want to address the question that they have. The Vanderbilt cryo -EM facility has been around for almost two decades now. Through that time, we have covered projects that run the, the range from whole intact viruses all the way down to small membrane proteins. Our facility houses four transmission electron microscopes, and these range everywhere from microscopes for screening your samples all the way to microscopes suitable for collecting high-resolution information. We are primarily a user-based facility where we train users to do all this work on their own from sample prep to data collection to processing and analysis. So researchers here really get an understanding of the full workflow. And NMR stands for Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy, where we look at biomolecules at an atomic level. Our equipment is somewhat unique in that we have that 900 megahertz spectrometer, which is a very high field, very expensive instrument, and not many labs can actually afford to have that. On top of it, we do have the IVDR equipment, which is the only one currently in the U.S. The crystallography facility supports basic research concerning the structure of macromolecules and small molecules. There are maybe 20 different laboratories on the Vanderbilt campus that use or have used the facility at some level. Over the years, those facility users have published quite a number of important structure results in an exceptionally wide range of fields from drug discovery, cancer biology, DNA replication and repair, membrane trafficking, integral membrane protein structure, RNA structure for design of therapeutics, and the list just goes on and on. The computational core is where all of the data collected at all of the other CSB facilities comes for processing and analysis, as well as uh, pure computational modeling. The computational core supports a workstation and server cluster distributed throughout the university, as well as high-performance computing and storage facilities hosted in the Hill Data Center. Vanderbilt has a great community of cell biologists and structural biologists, so I think these groups coming together using our core uh, leads to really interesting projects and collaborations.